and a breakthrough for those with sickle cell disease. An interesting article was published in the July 1st issue of the Journal of American Medical Association, otherwise shortly known as JAMA, in correlation or in conjunction with the National Institute of Health. What the article was published, or titled I should say, is Adults Stop Anti-Rejection Drugs After Stem Cell Transplant, and this is their words, not mine, reverses sickle cell disease. What made this different, as opposed to doing a full transplant, is they just did a partial stem cell transplant using the stem cells from siblings. Not a full transplant where they got to kill off all the stem cells. What this enabled them to do was basically make a breakthrough in regards to sickle cell disease. In their words, not mine, they were able to reverse sickle cell disease in 26 out of 30 people that had the partial stem cell transplant. Now this is where it gets amazing because it relieves dependency. All right, out of the 26 out of 30, after one year, and remember a lot of times you have to take immunosuppressant drugs for an entire lifetime, but out of one year in the partial stem cell transplant, 15 out of 30 were able to stop taking the immunosuppressant meds after one year, and then the National Institute of Health followed them for 3.4 years to the state and still no requirement for immunosuppressant medications. So, possibly a tremendous breakthrough for those with sickle, sickle cell disease. Now, here's the interesting part too, and the reason I wanted to make this video also is because those with sickle cell disease, the National Institute of Health is still running these trials, or like more participants. So, if those interested, it's 1-800-411-1222. 1222. And also, too, if you want to, you can find out about the trial at clinicaltrials.gov. Not exactly the best website, but what the heck, if you can find it, go for it. Otherwise, 1 800 411 1222. And what this was is this was a partial stem cell. Half the patients after one year no longer require any sort of immunosuppressive medications and to this day are still immunosuppressive medication non dependent. Thank you.